What's up guys, Sirsy Dog here. I know it's <laughs> kind of sound like a broken record here, but it's been a while again. Um, mainly because I've put on, put a hold on buying a lot of things recently and lost a lot of time. Uh, had a lot of expenses recently, so I haven't been able to buy a whole lot, but if you've been paying attention to the latest news in Magic, there's been a lot of talk about Frontier, about which is a new format in case you're not realized that are already in the loop that people are trying to play and promote and it's obviously a more recent modern like set but starts off with Magic 2015 onward as a core set so in lieu of that and sort of uh, somewhat of a speculation I wanted to get some M2015, M2015 products uh, not only because of that but I really haven't opened up much of this stuff at all so I wanted to go ahead and take a little dive into a fat pack and I also have another sealed product a box to open sometime soon as well thinking about doing another beer in a box of that since it's been a little bit since I've done a beer in a box and I always enjoy those so let me toss off that to the side I'm not to go into much detail as to what's in here because it's already somewhat of an older product and you probably already know and it's Pretty much the same across the board for fat packs, especially the more recent ones. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pack, see what we get. Just got some basic lands, as always. Rip this plastic off though. Just throwing everything off to the side next to my desk. It's especially funny after I'm done opening a box. Just have a mountain of wrappers. Not right, cool. So yeah, like I said, I haven't really opened up much of M13. So this is somewhat new to me. And what I meant by speculation earlier was uh I'm kind of excited about the prospect of the format, and I don't really have much M15 in my collection. So this will help boost that a little bit between this uh, fat pack and a box. And if it does take off, this set amongst you know all the other sets we're in standard recently are, are going to definitely rise in price. So Tomrat's Crypt is a good uncommon there. Some uh, graveyard heat that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of. Into the Void. Necrogen Scudder. And Avacyn Guardian Angel. 2 3 in white. 5 4 Legendary Angel. Flying and Vigilance. Pay 1 in white. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to another target creature this turn by sources of the color of your choice. And another ability of 5 and 2 white. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to target player this turn by sources of the color of your choice. <clears throat> right, so we have an artifact again starting off. Staff of the Wild Magus. Geist of the Moors. Profane Memento. And a Goblin Kaboomist. One in red, Goblin Warrior. It's 1 2. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a colorless artifact token named Landmine under the battlefield with pay 1 red, sacrifice this artifact. This artifact deals 2 damage to target attacking creature without flying. Then flip a coin. If you lose, Goblin Kaboomus deals 2 damage to itself. <clears throat> it's a strange goblin that generates artifacts. Ooh, 
nice Stark Steel Citadel. Grave Digger. Caustic Tar. And Jalira Master Polymorphist. Three and a blue, legendary human wizard. Two two. Pay two and a blue. Tap it. Sacrifice another creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary creature card. Put that card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. That's a pretty sweet creature. Pack, we have another Dark Still Citadel starting off. The Uncommons. A Heat Ray. <clears throat> Ancient Silverback. And Crucible of Fire. Three in red. Enchantment. Dragon creatures you control get plus three, plus three. Enchantment is always fun for DH. It's time to start off with the military intelligence. Jurabai Lurker. <clears throat> Sacred Armory. And Master of Predicaments. 4 4 Sphinx for 3 and 2 blue. Flyer, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, choose a card in your hand. That player guesses whether the card's converting mana cost is greater than four. If the player guesses wrong, you may cast the card without paying its mana cost. Designed by David Serlin. Alright, we have a wall of essence. Into the void. And this is expedition. And for us in revoker. To drop artifact two one. As there's a battlefield name an online card, activate abilities of that source with the chosen name can't be activated. Oh, it looks like we have a foil rare, Hushwing Griff. Two and a white, two one, flash flyer. Creatures in enemy's battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. That is a sweet sideboard attack there. Nice little surprise having a foil rare in the fat pack. Is obviously sweet too. <laughs> it's got the strength and rather foilness. They got me that one. Alright. Next pack we have a Curd Chieftain. Belligerent Sliver. Might makes right. And you sound the Wanderer Bard. Two and a green legendary human rogue, it's two three. Pay two and green tap. Put a verse counter on Yasan. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to the number of verse counters on Yasan. Put it on the battlefield and shuffle your library. Designed by Brian Fargo. That's definitely a fun one. I deal with that thing immediately. Second the last pack starts off with a first response. Paragon of New Dawns. 
stoke the flames. Just to have one of those. And an Avarice Amulet. Four joint artifact. Equip creatures. Get plus two, plus zero, and have vigilance. And at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. When the equipped creature dies, target opponent opponent gains control of it. And an equip cost of two. Designed by Penny Arcade. Is uh, are Wizards ever gonna let the community have any influence on card design again? I know this wasn't even that long ago, but curious to see if they'll, they will and when that will be. All right, last pack. Let's see what we get. We have a restock. Caustic Tar. Zathred's Flyblade. And a quarter calling. All right, X and three green. We've got Convoke. Instant, search your library for creature card with a mana cost X or less and put it on the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. And we have a foil a wall of frost. That should be pretty sweet, a zero seven. <clears throat> well, that was cool. Um, Definitely enjoyed this opening since I have not opened much of M15 yet, and uh, I got a full rare out of it, which is cool. Some decent rares. So, like I said, I'm going to be opening up a box of this stuff soon, so keep an eye out for that. And hoping to actually get more more time to open up more stuff, especially during the holiday seasons, because I'll have some more time from uh, being on break from work. So that would be cool to be able to put out some more stuff like I was before. So. Keep an eye out for that stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this one though. And until the next one guys, I'll catch you later.